What's up guys? I'm here with another video and today I'm very depressed because I just started watching Hacksaw Ridge for the first time. Not the best idea when you're gonna watch Friends after that and then record your Nightmare on Elm Street review. Um, <laughs> not the best plan because uh, I'm an hour 16 minutes in, like guys legs blew off. I'm done. I'm, I can't watch it all in one sitting. I thought I was going to be able to, and I wasn't. So, <laughs> welcome to the beginning of my series of Nightmare on Elm Street reviews. As you saw two months ago, I started my series of uh, Friday 13th reviews, starting with the 2009 remake. And now I'm going to be starting a Nightmare on Elm Street with the 2000, not 2010 remake. Jesus, I hate that movie. I'm going to be starting my Nightmare on Elm Street reviews with the 1984 original film, I fucking suck. Panic! 1984 original film directed by Wes Craven starting, starring, starring Le Heather Langenkamp, um, Johnny Depp. <laughs> I had to think, like, deep in the crevices of my mind. Robert Ungland and John Saxon. Because those are the only cast members I can remember. But, that does not matter. Um, so, this is fantastic. This movie is a fantastic film. There is no way around this movie being perfect. Uh, I think it's been perfect. I think it will always be perfect. I'm sorry, there's no, like, anything back here for this video. I really do apologize for that. I mean, you do have all this stuff. Uh, but, that is neither here or there. Here nor there, but uh, this movie is perfect. I I I I I I can't find a single thing I don't like about this movie. Um, I can't really. I I just can't. I can't. Like the the movie just I I can't find anything wrong with it. I mean I guess it's a bit too long. Um, I, I think you could have shaved five minutes off that runtime, uh, but, but I'm sure it like money. Um, definitely the sequels kind of diminish it, except Dream Warriors, because Dream Warriors is, is my favorite Nightmare on Elm Street film. We'll get to that in a few weeks. Um, but like, uh, the sequels, uh, Fraser's Revenge, uh, Dream Master, Dream Child, which I actually really like Dream Child and Dream Master. Um, it's just... They aren't as good as the first or the third. Um, I do think they're better than the second, and I do think that they are better than the ones that follow, except New Nightmare. Um, and Freddy vs. Jason. I really like Freddy vs. Jason. So, Freddy Krueger is one of the best villains in all of cinematic history. That's easy. That's like, everybody knows that. Um, but what no, this movie doesn't get enough credit for is really the other characters, like, uh, Nancy. She was popular enough to bring her back in the third film. Why she wasn't in the second, we will never know. Um, but she was in the third film, so I guess kind of even out the playing field. But still, why? Just, just, why not just give us Nancy in the second film and we won't get so it doesn't matter. Um, the girl who plays Tina, very believable. I, I really do believe her as this character. Um, Rod, one of the best characters in all of horror history. Let's be honest. Let's 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 be honest. He's one of the best in all of horror. What's up? What's going on here? An orgy or something? One of the best lines ever. Period. Any movie. I will fight you on that. I swear I would. Um. Glenn, John, I, I'm not working right now, my, like, my brain is, like, not working, and once I start watching Friends, like, my brain isn't gonna work, like, that's the way my process goes, like, every day, do something, do something of substance, then watch Friends and fall asleep, that's my entire thought process, every single day, I'm not even joking, so, Johnny Depp, this film, was his first big leading role as Glenn. I don't remember his last name, so fuck off. 
Um, but, yeah. He, he's okay in this movie. I, I mean, it's not his worst performance. It's definitely not his best. But uh, I think it could be improved. Uh, John Saxon. Believable. I loved him as the uh, uh, lieutenant, I think, he was in this film and in Black Christmas, the 1974 version. Um, I think. I don't know. He was also in West Craven's New Nightmare, so can't wait to talk about that. And um, uh, the way I view Marge, this is the way I view Marge. I, I view her as, like, Margaret White from Carrie, just a lot less religious. Um, like... Um, but yeah, that, that's really the only way I can describe her in this film. Um, again, runtime, could shave that down. Um, uh, what else? Uh, um, what else could you get rid of? I, I mean, the whole, actually, no. I mean, I guess the whole Rod kills Tina subplot, but then again, that kind of gets rid of uh, the whole, uh, um, like, the way Rod dies. I mean, they could have figured out a different way, but still, could have cut that out of the film and wrote it differently. Uh, they could have written it differently, completely cut it out of the film and changed it with the new subplot, or they could have just gotten... Um, or they could have just, I mean, I'm fine with it. It's not like it's bad. It's just, it's distracting. So, Nightmare on Elm Street. I forgot what I put on my Instagram. I think I gave it an A minus. That or an A. I know it was an A plus. Yeah, it was an A. That's what it was. So I'm going to give Nightmare on Elm Street an A. And really, I really recommend this to any horror fan out there. Um, any fan of horror should see this movie at some point in their lives. Uh, definitely not that 2010 remake, which I'll be talking about two months from now. Oh, uh, yeah. Can't wait to talk about that. Uh, I love Jackie Earl Haley, but he's not Freddy. I'm sorry. Um, so stay tuned for Tuesday, I think. Yeah, Tuesday. For my friend Season 1 review, that's actually going to have to be pre-recorded because I'm leaving uh, the my, my, my house uh, for a short period of time to go uh, help out some family, uh, and the podcast, I think I'm gonna have to do that tomorrow, uh, so for those of you who watch me, you guys will know what day the podcast is now on, uh, on SoundCloud, so expect that Black Christmas commentary tomorrow, um, and until next time, guys, um, wait a second, yeah, and then I'll just pre-record videos from Thursday, forward, uh, until I get home, so, like, if I'm home, say I'm home on the, uh, July 1st, uh, July, July, just July 1st, Jesus, uh, say I'm home on July 1st, which is gonna be my Spider-Man 3 review, uh, I'm really excited to do that video, cause I review the first two, and I can't wait to get to it, <laughs> and then we're moving on to the Amazing Spider-Man stuff, oh, yay, um, but yeah, um, so that's the schedule for cur currently. So if you want to see more, uh, uh, if you like this video and you want to see more, hit like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram, and subscribe to the donation. You can also follow me on my second Instagram account, the donation concepts. You can also subscribe to my second YouTube channel, uh, Domus Toys and Collectibles Chest. Uh, the last two the, that I just said are not in the description. Uh, and neither is the SoundCloud for the podcast, but you can also find my terms and conditions for my comment section and my uh, live stream chat and my live chat uh, for live streams. And until next time, guys. One, two, Freddy's coming for you. Three, four, better lock your door. I know, I'm just being stupid on camera now. Anyway, guys, peace out to all our one big people.